What's up, I'm Valkyr. I'm a little late to the party with Warzone, but I've been loving the hidden gems inside of the game, one of which is the bunkers which are dotted around the map. This video will give you more information about each bunker, including Bunker 11, which is the easter egg bunker, and how to access it. I'll also be covering three smaller buildings which can be entered also. To start, what even are bunkers? Bunkers are underground areas of the map, hidden away behind solid, reinforced doors which holds an absolute fortune of legendary loot, and some even hold special items you're pretty much guaranteed to come out rich. In total, there are 11 bunkers on the Warzone map and there are a few different ways of accessing them. First, we'll cover the bunkers that require a passcode to enter. Passcode bunkers can be entered by anyone who knows the code, so these will be hot locations on dropping. The first passcode bunker we'll look at is Bunker 1, which is located just southwest of the Boneyard. As this is the first bunker, we'll go through the steps of opening the door. Inside the main entrance, you'll go down deeper until you hit a reinforced door with a keypad by the side of it. Open the keypad and type 9726413 and then press enter access code with your action key. This will then release the secured iron bars allowing you to head inside and get rich. Bunkers contain elements of interest inside so keep an eye out for anything which could be a future easter egg. The second passcode bunker is Bunker 3, which actually isn't too far away from Bunker 1, located just northwest of the Boneyard. Inside Bunker 3, you'll drop down the ladder and run to the entrance. Enter the passcode 876-24851, you're in for another loot filled treat. The third and final passcode bunker is Bunker 10, which is located just south of the park near the coast. It's easy to locate and has the most loot inside compared to Bunker 1 and 3. The passcode to enter is 60274513. Bunker 10 also includes a very interesting control room in which you can see a, what looks to be a nuclear missile, potentially for future lore, or when Warzone map blows up or whatever happens. ATVs can actually fit inside the bunker, as I found out and was pretty mad about. I would also warn you to be wary when using the passcode console or you'll end up like this poor fellow. Next we're onto bunkers which will require a red keycard. To acquire a keycard you'll have to open loot boxes until one randomly pops out. You can get them from both blue and orange boxes. I actually found a ton of them before I knew what bunkers were, little did I know. When you do find a keycard you'll be able to access any of the following bunkers. Bunker 0 is located just slightly southwest of the hills and directly south of the big monument. It's actually just off the edge of the map before the restricted area on the coastline. Here you'll find the bunker and if you've got a key code, simply just approach the entry console and use the activation button. This will then open the door to the loot. The keycard bunkers can sometimes include a special item at the end of the room, which can include a range of various cool things such as juggernaut, specialist bonus, loadout drop, foresight, amongst a ton of other cool things. That's one of the bonuses of finding the keycard and then accessing the bunkers. Further north towards the dam, we've got Keycard Bunker 4, which is just slightly off to the east edge of the dam and just off the edge of the cliff. Bunker 5 is located just south of the military base. This was actually the first bunker that I'd entered. Inside, I found a Juggernaut loadout drop. The day I got filthy rich. Bunker 6 is located to the far east, just below the quarry by the frozen ice river, and directly above the vehicle tunnel that would take you out of Verdansk. I've entered this bunker before, and inside I found a loadout drop marker as the special item. Bunker 9 is located by the prison, just underneath the bridge that crosses on the east side. Luckily, someone drove right to the bunker, and I was able to get inside to check it out. There is also another bunker door inside Bunker 9 which has a console, but currently as far as I know, there isn't a code for it. This keypad also appears inside Bunker 0. There are three numbered bunkers which are currently not active and most likely will become active during new Warzone Intel missions. These are Bunker 2 which is located just to the west of Bunker 3 along with Bunker 7 and 8 which are located just to the northeast of the stadium and they're right next to each other. I'll be putting out new videos on the bunkers once they're accessible. We've now covered 0 to 10 on the bunkers. Before we cover Bunker 11, we'll just quickly look at those shacks and buildings. These are basically a small room in which passcode is needed before entering. They're pretty small and only have a very small amount of loot. The first we'll look at is the building just to the east of the TV station. Passcode to enter this building is 27495810. As I said, these buildings are not too impressive, but hey, at least it's some orange loot box. The second door is at the farmland inside a fairly big building with red cocks painted on the front. Inside you'll find a little wooden door and an access pad next to it. The code for this is 49285163. Inside there's no orange loot, so I don't really know why this building exists. 
And finally, we have the prison shack, which is located just west of the prison. It's kind of small, kind of cute. The code for this one is 72948531. Again, inside it's nothing overwhelming, but you know what? It's at least a guaranteed little bit of loot. All right, all right. Let's get to the juicy one here. Bunker 11 is an Easter egg bunker and requires no key code or passcode to enter. However, you do have to complete a few steps before you can enter. The first step is to find an activation phone. These are phones which ring in specific locations around the map. On screen now, you can see the activation phone locations with a red circle. This will also be in the description as a link. Once you find an activation phone, one of two things will happen. Either the phone will just hang up, which means the activation phone wasn't the correct one, or you'll hear some Russian. Just to note, if the activation phone doesn't work on one round, it doesn't mean it won't work on another round. If you do hear the Russian speaking, this means that you have started the Easter egg. It's very important that you listen to the phone call if they speak, because they will then say three numbers in Russian. These three numbers correspond to other phones which are located around the map, which can be seen in green on the map on the screen now. You must then, in the same order you heard the numbers, visit these phones and activate them. There are 10 total phones, which include zero, which are dotted around the map. For example, in my run, they said one, three, two. After you've activated them all in the correct order, it's time to head to Bunker 11, which will now be open for you to enter. Bunker 11 is just to the north of the military base on the edge of the map. This bunker inside has loads of loot and many different doors to enter. You'll also find an exclusive blueprint for a weapon inside and a strange broken wall to crawl through. At the back, there is a big shiny red button, which then clears steam from a room, revealing what looks to be a nuclear device. This brings me to the end of the bunker guide. Trying to get into Bunker 11 on solos was a crazy mission, but we did it eventually. And hopefully this guide helps you get some sick loot. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, throw a thumbs up and drop a comment. If you do know what the passcode is inside Bunker 9, let me know. But as far as I'm aware, it's still something that people don't know. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out my live streams, you can see them over at twitch.tv forward slash Valkyrie.